In this video, I will tell you all you need to know about how to perform a synthetic substitution. First, I'll discuss what synthetic substitution actually is and the kinds of problems that you can solve using synthetic substitution. Then we'll take a look at how to actually perform a synthetic substitution and discuss all of the steps involved. Third, at the 4 minute and 45 second mark of this video, we will go through an example problem. Let's begin. Let's begin by talking about what synthetic substitution actually is. Synthetic substitution is simply a method for evaluating a function. For example, if f of x equals x squared plus 2x minus 4, the value of f of 3 could be found through synthetic substitution. Now another way to evaluate f of 3 would be through direct substitution. Synthetic substitution is an alternative to direct substitution. In this example, evaluating f of 3 would be fairly simple with direct substitution. You would just have to substitute every occurrence of x with the value of 3, which would result in 3 squared plus 2 times 3 minus 4. 3 squared is 9 in this case, 2 times 3 is 6, and the result of 9 plus 6 minus 4 is 11. So the actual value of f of 3 by direct substitution equals 11. Synthetic substitution provides another way to evaluate f of 3 to get to the result of 11. And it's worth learning not only because it provides an alternative to direct substitution, but also because the synthetic substitution process can be used to solve other types of problems as well. Now let's talk about how to actually perform a synthetic substitution. Let's begin our discussion of synthetic substitution by using the same function that we briefly discussed a minute ago, f of x equals x to the third plus 2x minus 4. We're going to evaluate f of 3 again, but this time using the synthetic substitution process. This process begins by taking the value at which you're evaluating the function. In this case, we're trying to find f of 3, so that value is 3. And the notation we're going to use is half of a box. We're going to put that 3 in half of a box. And again, this 3 is the value at which we're evaluating the function. So since we're evaluating f of 3, we're putting a 3 in this box. If we were evalu evaluating f of negative 2, we would put a negative 2 in the box. And then beside the box, we're going to make a list of the coefficients of the original function. And these coefficients are written in decreasing degree. The coefficient on the highest power of x comes first, and then we'll go down to the constant, which is written last in the list. In the case of f of x, the coefficient on x squared, although not written in the original problem, is understood to be a 1. The coefficient on the x to the first is a 2, and the constant is negative 4. Be sure to include the negative sign if there is one. Then, the synthetic substitution process will include a total of three rows. The first row, the second row, and the third row are pointed out by the arrows on the screen. We've already filled in the first row. And the way that we go through the synthetic substitution process at this point is to bring down the first number, which in this case is a 1, and write it in the bottom row. Then, as we go from this 1, we're going to go back up to the second row and multiply it by the number in the box. Multiply it by the value at which we're evaluating the function. 1 times 3 is 3. And then, as we come down the columns, we're going to add 2 and 3 to get a 5. Then we'll go back up to the second column by again multiplying by the number in the box, which in this case is 3. 5 times 3 is 15. And then as we come down our final column, we'll again add. In this case, negative 4 plus 15 is 11. And this number at the end of the bottom row is the value of f of 3 f of 3 equals 11. If you remember when we evaluated this function with direct substitution, we also got 11. By synthetic division, the value of f of 3 is equal to 11. We'll now do one more example from start to finish of evaluating a function using synthetic substitution. For our final example, we'll consider f of x to be 3x to the third minus 2x plus 1. 
and we'll evaluate f of negative 2. The synthetic substitution process begins with taking the value at which we're evaluating the function, negative 2, and putting it in half of a box, which will end up being the beginning of the first row of our problem. Beside that negative 2, I'm going to write the coefficients of the function in decreasing degree. In this case, the function is 3x to the third minus 2x plus 1. The highest power on x is x to the third, and x to the third's coefficient is 3. Now, if I look at this function, after the x to the third, the next term that I see written is minus 2x. I do not see a term that involves an x to the second power. However, I have to include a coefficient for every degree of x lower than 3 as I move across the top row. This 0 represents the fact that there is not an x squared term in the function. There is a linear x to the first term, and that is negative 2, and there is a constant, which is 1. If there was not a constant written in this function, I would include a 0 at the end. In this case, though, the constant of the function is a positive 1. I will leave room for a second row and then draw a line. And the final answer for this problem will end up being the last value in the third row of the synthetic substitution process. Once you have this table set up, you begin by bringing down the first number, which in this case is a 3. And then as I move up to the second row, I'm going to multiply by the number in the box the number at which I'm evaluating the function, which in this case is negative 2. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. As I move down each column, I will be adding 0 plus negative 6, which has a sum of negative 6, and then multiply negative 2 times negative 6 to go up to the second row in the next column. Negative 6 times negative 2 is positive 12. Coming down this row, adding negative 2 plus 12, I get a value of 10, positive 10. And then there will be one more multiplication by negative 2. 10 times negative 2 is negative 20. Adding the last column, 1 plus negative 20, is negative 19. This is the result of the evaluation of f of negative 2. If f of x equals 3x to the third minus 2x plus 1, by synthetic substitution, the value of f of negative 2 is equal to negative 19.